Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sneha and welcome back to Perio Hub. So to continue our series on life as a dental postgraduate, today let's discuss a little bit about the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics. And to share his experiences and his perspective with us, we have Dr. Varun with us. So I met Dr. Varun while I was doing my senior residency and believe me, he's the finest endodontist and a very, very good teacher. And I personally got to learn so many technical skills from him. So let's quickly bring him on board. But before we do that, please do like, subscribe and share this video. And with that, let's get started. Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Varun Dhamija. First of all, accept my heartiest congratulations for taking anodontics as your post-graduation speciality. At Periohub, Dr. Sneha has given me the responsibility to brief you people on what lies ahead in these three years, what is expected of you and what all things to pay maximum attention to. At the very beginning, it must be made very clear that life in your post-graduation will be quite different from your graduation years. since Life in post-graduation revolves mainly around thesis, faculty and patients. So you'll have to compromise on a lot of important things and miss out many important family functions. In the beginning of your PG program, you'll be asked to take two basic courses. One relating to medical emergencies in dental office and another relating to biomedical research. Now I'm sure each one of you knows how to manage vesovagal syncope and hypoglycemic episode. But in this course, you'll receive advanced training on managing adrenal crisis, hyperventilation syndrome, seizure precipitation, arrhythmia precipitation and other commonly encountered medical emergencies. Now coming on to the basic course on biomedical research. MCI has made it mandatory that PG medical students take this course. Till date, it is not made mandatory for you people, but it is expected that it will be made mandatory for you people as well. And even if it is not made mandatory, it is highly recommended that you take this course. Because once you take this course, you will get to know how to do extensive literature review, how to frame a good research question, how to formulate a research hypothesis, how to collect and categorize data, and how to analyze and interpret your collected data. These all things will help immensely in your thesis writing. Now, as Dr. Sneha also mentioned, there are essential clinical and academic requirements of a PG program. Now clinical requirements. Clinical requirements will have you do all the pre-clinical exercises in the initial four or four, uh, five months. You will do tooth carvings, you will do class two amalgam cavity preparation, you will do class two inlay cavity preparation, you will do onlay cavity preparation, you will do amalgam restoration, you will do wax fabric pattern fabrication and you will uh, do the casting seating exercises. Now at times these all exercises may sound very tedious and boring though, but these all things are a springboard to a successful restorative dentistry career. Now, once you are done with these exercises, you will be asked to take root canal treatment on extracted teeth. You will do anterior RCTs, you will do posterior RCTs and this time evaluation criteria will be quite stringent. Like if it is uh, falling to a 3 mm shot or it is having voids, straight away it will be thrown to dustbin. And one more important thing regarding your preclinical exercises. These all specimens, preclinical specimens will be displayed at the time of your clinical examination in your third year. So, it is highly recommended that you do all these exercises very meticulously and diligently. Once you are done with your preclinical exercises and faculty also evaluates it, you will be asked to take simple endodontic and operative dentistry cases like anterior RCTs, class 2 amalgam restorations, splinting of traumatized teeth, bleaching, revascularization among others. Now, once you gain certain level of clinical skills, you will be introduced to microscope and ultrasonics at the end of your first year. Now many of you may have been using loops having magnification of up to 6 or 7x, but microscope will provide you illumination and magnification of up to 25x. That will be indispensable for certain cases like endodontic surgeries, perforation repairs, instrument retrieval, instrument bypass, ledge bypass, certain cases of re root canal treatments and crown margin inspections. Now coming in second years. Second year you will be taking each and every case visiting your OPD. You will be doing complex RCTs, you will be doing in independent surgeries starting from anterior teeth, 
you'll be doing composite buildups you'll be doing crown buildups you'll be doing crown cuttings aesthetic cases like composite veneers porcelain veneers surgical cases like perforation repairs hemi sections and you'll enhance your clinical skills in your second year now coming to the third year third year and you will become very selective in picking up the cases your main focus will be picking up the special cases from your opd and doing the exam oriented exercises in new year clinical exam you will have post and core class 2 inlay cavity preparation and wax pattern and casting seatings and single seating rcts nowadays there is an ex- uh, option available either you do post and core or you do composite build up on class 4 fractures so that depends upon the external who is coming to your exam so with these all exercises in your mind you will be selectively picking up the cases coming to your opd now this was all about the clinical requirements now coming on to the academic requirements essential academic requirements of pg program are seminars and journal clubs conference posters and papers and the thesis seminars and journal clubs first year they'll focus on basic topics like caries pulpal biology and pulpal pathology preliminary consideration of operative dentistry local anesthesia pharmacology in anodontics diagnosis instrumentation in operative dentistry instrumentation in anodontics among others second year onwards you'll be given topics from standard textbooks like art and science of operative dentistry textbook of anodontics problem solving in anodontics pathways of pulp now coming to the journal club will be required to present review articles published in the major journals like Journal of Endodontics, International Endodontic Journal, Australian Endodontic Journal, Operative Dentistry, Cardiology, and Dental Traumatology. Now coming to the conference papers and posters. Each year you will have two conferences organized by Indian Endodontic Society and Indian Association for Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics. These six conferences. will present four papers or posters these papers or posters will be from any short study that you've done any unique case with a certain amount of follow up that you have or a short term follow up of your thesis now coming to the most important part of the post graduation that is thesis thesis is a detailed in systematic investigation into a particular topic that you do for 3 years so the question comes how do you select a thesis topic you'll go through the titles of all the studies published in the major journals like JOE IEJ Australian Endodontic Journal Dental Traumatology Operative Dentistry this cursory research will boil down to six or seven topics of your interest and the methodology of which your college infrastructure allows these six or seven topics you'll do extensive research from pubmed that is a huge database of all the articles published with the national library of medicine in this you'll find artic- abstracts and citations index as early as 1950s or even earlier so from this research you'll try to find out the knowledge gaps that are existing in literature pertaining to part- one particular topic i give an example you come across a study that says 5% sodium hypochlorite is an effective irrigation medium that causes elimination of all the microorganisms from the root canal now we are wondering whether 5% has been compared for efficacy against 1% sodium hypochlorite or not this title you will search in pubmed to see if any particular study has been done in any part of the world and if it is not and if your faculty also allows it then this might be your thesis topic once your thesis topic is selected protocol submitted if it is a clinical trial then you will have to justify it in front of institutional ethical committee once you get thumbs up from your institutional ethical committee you start taking up thesis cases and it is strongly advocated that you finish all of your thesis patients in the initial months of second year only because then only you will have an adequate one year follow up available at the time of your thesis writing you start compiling all the data in the initial months of third year after you have compiled your data you start writing your results and your thesis and dr sneha also mentioned there are multiple levels of scrutiny for the thesis like it will be scrutinized in the department in the university one copy will also be sent to the external who will be coming for your clinical exams after your written your thesis you will be strongly encouraged to write a research paper for your thesis study and believe me there is nothing more gratifying than having a research paper published in the international pubmed index journal you will also earn the respect of your faculty by writing this paper now comes the exam part 
it will have the theory exam and the clinical exam theory exam will have the basic sciences paper that will have the topics from anatomy dental anatomy physiology pathology and some parts of microbiology second paper will be from the operative dentistry third paper will have a paper of endodontics and fourth will be essay type question either from the endodontics operative dentistry or biomaterials now coming to the clinical exam part clinical exam part will have three exercises one exercise will have class 2 inlay preparation and casting seating second will be single seating root canal treatment some institute also mandate that it be done in under microscope third exercise will have a choice either it will be one post and core or class for composite build up now if you have worked hard in these three years and you have been respectful to your faculty and if your theory also goes well then your faculty make sure that nothing untoward happens in your exam and they will make sure that you pass this clinical exam so this was all about the clinical and academic requirements and the exam part of post graduation course so next question comes what else one needs to survive and thrive in these three tough years of post graduation now from our experiences we can tell that the two skills that will help you people most will be resilience and ability to take things not too seriously you know there will be many times when there will be huge disappointments there will be many setbacks frustrations ridicules by the faculty these times it will be too much devastating if you take all these ridicules scorns too much personally and too much seriously so it is strongly advised that you take all these setbacks ridicules in good jest then only you can survive this tough 3 years and if you do this if you and take help of these two skills you will not only uh, be able to bear these years but you will come out triumphant and joyful with these words i leave you with all my best wishes and the assurance that i am always available at the perio hub for any kind of the query that you may have thank you Thank you so much Varun sir to have taken out time and to have come on board and shared your experiences and your perspective with us it was really a informative session and if you like this video then please do support us by liking the video sharing the video and subscribing to this channel and tap the bell icon to get notified and until we meet next take good care of yourself this is Perio Hub signing off